I belong to a couple of different organizations, and, and one of them, uh, the president got up one year and he said, he, the newly elected president, he said, you know, his job is not to screw up, okay? And I always thought that that was like one of the good jobs. That's, that's a good thing to have in mind. You know, what, one of the um, um, challenges that we have in the Producers Guild is a level of growing pains. You know, uh, when I joined, I think there were maybe a thousand members, fifteen hundred members. I mean, Hawk Koch joined, there were two hundred members. But uh, he got me in, and Gail Hurd brought me in. But um, uh, there are now seven thousand members. So we do have we have a large organization. We have um, uh, the AP Council, which are production managers and production supervisors. Uh, we have the New Media Council, which is the, the internet oriented, and we have the producers. Uh, council, which are producers, but uh, the, the producing side is, is a tricky side. You know, television seems to be growing, film seems to be uh, struggling a little bit, new media is exploding, but uh, in which way? So it's, it's trying to make sure that we're one guild, um, unite the guild, and uh, um, w w pollinate uh, in t to a certain degree. You know, there are people in new media that can help people in the producers council. There are AP council members that work in uh, unscripted that that uh, want to get into scripted you know how do we how do we communicate well so that um, we can move forward uh, easily and then the the other thing the other um, one of the other challenges that we have you know besides sustaining the PGA mark but that's in place at the moment is to um, is to deal with piracy it's it's absolutely on our mind there none of us have quite figured out the solution yet um, but there needs to be more than just education as the solution. I, I, am, I, 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 I don't think that educating is just the only solution. There has to be some other method that, that deals with it. We're observing how other countries treat piracy as well. No one has quite come up with a, a solution yet, but I was in uh, Cannes and I spoke to uh, uh, producers from Germany, distributors from Germany and from Spain and from Italy and from France where piracy is just as rampant as it is in the United States and is harming the film business and, and um, I let them know that, that um, if they were became aware of any, um, any uh, s scenario that worked that I could, um, I could bring 7,000 PGA members to help. I think this has gone great. You know, it's our seventh year. I was co-chair of the, of the Produced By Conference for the last four, but not for this year. And uh, every year it seems like it goes better and smoother. And this year is just uh, fantastic, just fantastic. And I love being on the Paramount lot. I was here many years ago. I was head of production from 87 to 92. And then I was a producer on the lot after that and then came back uh, to the lot uh, with Lakeshore Entertainment where I'm the president of that company now. We were here for seven or eight years. So this is uh, like a home away from home. Of all the studios, this is the one that I live nearest to and uh, feel the most affinity for. So. I was very excited driving through the gates. Every year I moderate a panel about uh, independent filmmaking and independent financing. So that is always an interesting um, a sidebar, if you will, but I take it quite seriously because you know when you moderate a panel, you've got five people and you want to keep the audience engaged and entertained, so you have to do your homework. Uh, so I, I found that quite fascinating. And uh, one of my panelists was this um, woman by the name of Sophie Watts, who's the president of STX, which is a new um, distribution company here in, in Los Angeles. And uh, she was quite energetic and enthusiastic and optimistic and very well-spoken and um, a futurist and uh, truly exceptional. And I think the audience really, really embraced her. So that was quite exciting for me. Uh, with respect to pre-selling movies internationally, uh, if you can have some sort of domestic deal in place, your, uh, your opportunity to sell internationally is going to be enhanced. At the same time, we did have a, a young um, uh, entertainment lawyer by the name of Elsa Ramo who, who primarily uh, is involved with uh, the financing of smaller budget, micro budget movies. Uh, last year she was involved with Still Alice. She's done some crowdfunding movies and so, so that was very educational. Um, uh, we had Hal Sadoff, who had been, who's been working on the banking side, then worked at ICM as an, a, as an agent and is now uh, running Silver Pictures as his president and CEO. So he was talking about making bigger movies. And then, as I said, uh, Sophie Watts, who is um, who's from STX, really believes that there is a middle movie between 20 and 60, 20 and 80 million dollars that can work uh, quite successfully in the marketplace. And STX is unique insofar as that the 
the creative side is, is very much marketing dominated. Uh, the two top executives there, uh, Andy Fogelson, Adam Fogelson and uh, Oren Aviv, both come from marketing, one at Universal and one at Disney and Fox. So, so they don't make a movie until they know how to market it, which is a, a very unique take. So I, I'm quite uh, optimistic and enthusiastic about STX. You know, we're all dreamers. We're, we're all optimists. You can't, you can't be a producer and not be an optimist. You can't be pessimistic about it. You may as well just like walk out the door and forget about it. But, but one of the, uh, the components or elements that I, that I most appreciate and really truly enjoy about the Producers Guild and about this conference is that uh, it gives some of us an opportunity to do round tables. And it's, um, um, you know, you have 10 or 12 people at a, at a table and you spend an hour talking to uh, aspiring producers and they have uh, questions about uh, content, about scripts, about how to sell it, about how to market it, about how to um, <coughs> in, engage um, uh, buyers to, uh, to acquire something, uh, a product. So I love these round table uh, um, scenarios. You know, I, I like talking anyway, so it's, it gives me an opportunity to do that. It's, it's, a, it's a round table where, I, I actually I think, I think it costs the individual some money to, to sit down with a, a producer and with, with you know, they, they, they decide which producer they want to sit down with. You know, they look at the credits of various people and if they're, you know, if, they're, uh, if they want to be tel in television, there are people like Mark Gordon that have produced a, you know, big television series, they're going to talk to him. If, they, if it's more on the feature side, they'll, they might talk to me. But um, really interesting, interesting questions, interesting people, mostly uh, men and women that have accomplished a certain level. They're not fresh out of um, film school having accomplished nothing. There was a guy who was the line producer for Fruitvale Station, and he was talking about how he should make the next, the next moves. And, and I enjoyed um, our conversation. I enjoyed giving him whatever pearls of wisdom exist in my brain. New York has, has exploded, especially with television production. There are a number of TV shows that are happening in New York. Also, new media has become quite prevalent in New York. There are a lot of uh, uh, networks, discovery, that, and, and pr content is being created out of Washington, D.C. and out of New York. Uh, and with the burgeoning number of members, um, quite a few of the, of, the, of the New York, our New York associates were talking about, well, why don't we do a PBNY, do a produced by in New York? So we, uh, the, the, uh, the leadership of the Guild were all for that, and we did one last year. I had the, uh, the good fortune of interviewing Darren Aronofsky, which I, I found very exciting. I had to rewatch all of his movies, but that was a thrill in and, of, in and of itself, and I was somewhat intimidated by his intellect, so I had to really bone up in terms of preparation for, for my interview. But uh, Harvey was there, Mark Gordon spoke. Um, uh, we had some, uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, so we had a really great one-day uh, uh, conference, and um, at the end of it, I stood up in front of um, the New York members and I said, "Look, I said I don't know why this shouldn't be a yearly thing, and as long as it can be paid for successfully, we were going to completely support it." So at the moment, uh, it looks like uh, New York is coming through, and they will achieve that goal. And at the moment, I, uh, Tina Fey is one of our cornerstone. Um, um, speakers, so that that would be fantastic, because there are there is a lot of talent right now um, residing in New York. It's it's interesting with respect to marketing films, for example. I just um, produced a movie called The Age of Adeline, and we we did our press junket in Los Angeles, but we did the premiere in New York because uh, you know Fallon is in New York, Letterman is in New York, um, uh, Kelly and Michael are in New York, so. Um, Rachel Ray's in New York. There's a, there's a lot of uh, marketability about New York City, so it's uh, it, it, the East Coast is happening right now. I have a day job, you know. I, I I'm the president of Lakeshore Entertainment, and and um, we're making another Underworld with Kate Beckinsale and Theo James. We hired a woman director, Anna Forrester, who Mark Gordon actually had worked with before. She's the She's a, she's, um, she was Rowan Emmerich's cinematographer and second unit director, and then she's directed a lot of the Outlander episodes, which is a huge new series for stars. It's fantastic. She's directed the final two episodes of both season one and season two, so she's Sony Pictures Television's big gun. Uh, remarkable woman, and we're really excited to do that. And uh, it's also been announced that we're making uh, American Pastoral with um, which is Philip Roth's Pulitzer Prize winning book, and that's Ewan McGregor directing and starring with Jennifer Connelly and Dakota Fanning. So my, my fall will be very busy going back and forth between both of those productions. 
they should know that, that, that part of what a producer does is constantly look for new stories and new ideas. And uh, we're in a, at least on the film side, we're in, a, in what I believe to be a very complicated and tricky time. Uh, we have such quality content on television that to get uh, a, a human being into a movie theater is becoming more and more difficult. So you have to give them something they truly want. Now that what they want might be spectacle or what they want may be drama but, or thriller, but whatever it is, it has to be of quality. It has to be something that you get a good cinema score at the end of the day, that the person who <clears throat> walks out of the theater feels good about the 10, 12, 15 dollars they've spent on the ticket. So um, that, that requires some, some real thinking.